going on guys? My name is Nikias, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you over 40 new features inside of the brand new watchOS 7 that Apple released yesterday. First of all, I'm, I'm a little bit upset at watchOS 7 because there's not that many massive new features, but there's a lot of very tiny new features, which of course are always welcome. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started with iMessage. Now, whenever you get a notification, now see a photo of your contact popping up, which in my opinion looks way better. Before, writing messages on iMessage or even writing an email was kind of a pain to do. You could definitely do it, but it was just easier to, to do on the iPhone. But now with watchOS 7, you can now edit typos, for example, simply by using the digital crown. You can now send more than one emoji and you can now send GIFs directly from your wrist, which is awesome. You do not pronounce GIF like that. Well, people pronounce GIFs differently. No. GIFs, GIFs, whatever. No, you are so stupid. You think you are American. Okay. You shut up because you haven't even been improved in watchOS 7. So just be quiet. Don't insult me, please, because I feel very lonely well, in life. It's your fault that you're lonely because you're rude. Okay, but you are so ugly. I might be ugly, but you're rude. And I'd rather be ugly than to be rude. Your mom is also so ugly. Just, just be quiet. Tell them to subscribe. I know. I, well, I haven't subscribed. Okay, but just be quiet. Okay. Thank you. Apple Music for the Apple Watch has also been improved. So if you go inside of music, tap on on iPhone and then scroll to the bottom, you will not be able to see your recently added, which is pretty awesome. Also, if you select the song, an artist or a playlist, you can now send that to somebody via iMessage or via email. It's super cool that you can do that with your wrist now. The AirTags and the Apple Watch can finally work together. They are now friends and they will now marry each other because yes, you can now find your items using your Apple Watch with AirTags, which is something that I complained about in my review once again. Something that I don't like about it, the Apple Watch. Inside of the Find My App on my Apple Watch, I can also not see where my AirTags are. I gotta get out my iPhone, which, Apple, come on, I love the Apple Watch. The Find My app has now been divided in three apps. Find My Friends, Find My Devices, and Find My Items. Inside of the Find My Items app, you can now play a sound directly from your Apple Watch and you can know where it is. But most importantly, you can now get notified when you leave an item behind. So let's say, you know, I forget my wallet. The Apple Watch will actually alert me. Hey, you left your wallet. You should probably go back because somebody will steal it and somebody will steal all of your money. Thank you, thank you, app. Before we continue with all the awesome new features, I wanted to tell you about today's sponsor, which is the Vegan Loop. Now, hold on, don't skip, I see you. People are always skipping ads, I see you. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that is 100% vegan, 100% animal cruelty free, and it actually feels like leather. Like, it's not like those cheap knockoff Apple Watch bands, this actually feels like leather, which is awesome. Hit the link down in the description, use promo code Nikias, and you'll actually get 20% off on your next purchase. Let's continue with watchOS 7. It, there's there's so much to talk about. The Photos app has also been completely redesigned from the ground up. We now get like this mosaic grid design. It honestly looks amazing. Also, you can now put your portrait mode photos from your Apple Watch into an actual watch face and the time will actually go right behind your face. It's pretty cool how it works and it just works automatically, which is awesome. Photos does the exact same thing as music. You can now share photos directly from your Apple Watch via email or via iMessage, which is sick. The home app has also been getting a lot, a lot of work. It's been slightly redesigned. We now get status symbols. We also get access to scenes so you can directly choose movie time, for example, and the lights will turn red and the fist tank will go on. Apple also released HomeKey at WWDC. And what that will do is you can simply open up your door. You'll have this accessory at your home and using your Apple Watch, you're gonna be able to access your home by simply swiping. Just by doing like this, you're gonna get home. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. I mean, come on, welcome to the future, baby. The always on display also gets an upgrade before when somebody sent you an iMessage, for example, you actually did not see anything on the always on display. In order for you to see the message, you simply had to do like that and then you'd be able to see the message. But now the animation will pop up it will not display the message. And then once you actually look at your watch, you'll be able to see the message. I don't really know how I feel about this one because of privacy reasons. Maybe I don't want anybody to know that I'm texting somebody and I don't want anybody looking at my watch. But the good thing is that you can actually turn that off in settings, which is pretty cool. Probably one of the biggest changes in watchOS 7 is the new mindfulness app. Now the breathe app has been renamed to mindfulness and there is now a reflect feature in mindfulness, which helps you establish a meditation practice by focusing on a short thought provoking theme. And then there's a beautiful animation that helps you visualize as a minute passes. 
I don't know. I seriously don't understand why Apple didn't make this animation a watch face. Like we're not getting any new watch faces in watchOS 7. And then the breathing exercises animations have also been completely redesigned. Just look at them. They are beautiful. They are so beautiful. WatchOS 8 also tracks your sleeping respiratory rate, basically tracks your breaths per minute while you sleep. But after sleeping, you won't be able to see the information on the Apple Watch. You're going to have to open the health app on your iPhone for that, which I don't really understand why. Hopefully on upcoming betas, Apple will implement that on the Apple Watch. I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like it gives you the information, but you got to go on your iPhone. I don't know. It feels pretty weird. One of my personal new favorite features in WatchOS 8 is weather storm notifications. So now before it actually starts raining an hour before the Apple Watch will notify you, hey, you should probably get an umbrella. Okay, so those are all the new features and do you have any more? What? Yeah, that, that's it. I don't have any more features written down. You forgot the timer app. I didn't forget. There's no new. There's nothing new instead of the timer app. Open it. Hold on. I'm opening now. Open it faster. You are slow. Oh, you're actually right. I am always right. Well, you're not always right, but thank you. I hate you so much. I, I love you too. Okay. So now whenever you open up the timer app, you can actually select and you can actually do as many timers as you want, which is pretty cool. Timer is also redesigned. Yeah. And that's true. The timer has actually been redesigned, which is pretty cool. So do you have any other new features? Do you have any other written down? No. Well, then there is no more. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Siri. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, links down below in the description for the vegan loop. And I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe. 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 He's right. She is right. Whatever you are. I'm watching you. Subscribe right now. Peace. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where a hat sometimes played chess.